We begin tonight with what Coloradans are saying about the vaccine that could put an end to this pandemic. The incident commander for, for COVID-19 with Colorado's Department of Public Health and Environment says the COVID-19 vaccine is more effective than the flu vaccine. Our Rob Hagan stands by live at Mesa County Public Health with the latest. Rob, what can you tell us tonight? Adrian, the coronavirus pandemic has made history by infecting the world and claiming countless lives in the process. But human beings have also made history by developing the cure to COVID-19 in less than a year after the virus got its name. And now that the answer to COVID is coming here to Colorado, the only question left to ask is will Coloradans line up to get their jab in the arm or will they question the safety of the shot? The United Kingdom's the first country to administer the first COVID-19 vaccine and the cure for COVID is coming to Colorado any day now, which is already too late for thousands. We've lost 2,784 now Coloradans now to COVID. Uh, each one is, is a great loss for the family and their friends and uh, my condolences go out to everyone affected. Governor Polis wants Coloradans to get the vaccine to preserve life and end the dark days of the pandemic but it's your choice. I will be getting the vaccine as soon as it's available to me. I would not get the vaccine. Public opinion differs, but a CMU student graduating with a degree in cellular molecular biology says to look at the science. We don't know the long-term side effects of this disease, and the sooner we can get things open again and you can get back to living life, it's a good thing. Wait. But the wait is now over because over 46,000 doses of the COVID vaccine have been given the green light by leading doctors and scientists. They say that the vaccine is both safe and 95% effective with small side effects. But those side effects may be the only obstacle left in the road swaying public opinion to not get a jab in the arm. Riley says her grandma was one of thousands who volunteered for human trials to test the vaccine months ago. And grandma's experience swayed her decision to say no. Wait. She ended up having a reaction from it, so it wasn't a sugar pill. She got like a full bone fever and um, like cold sweats, shakes. She was in bed for like a little over 24 hours. A final FDA decision on vaccine distribution is expected within days, which will improve the health of Americans and the health of the economy. Now, Pfizer's human trial study of over 44,000 people shows no major safety issues after being inoculated. And experts say 70% of the population of 328 million Americans will have to be vaccinated to achieve herd immunity. But until that happens, it means more months of masks. But more importantly, it means more months of deaths. First on the Western Slope and live at Mesa County Public Health, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News. Adrian. All right, Rob, thanks so much. FDA